Hello and welcome back to Theme Park Harry. In today's video, we will be talking about my top 10 favourite rides at the Island Lightning Lover Full Park Resort. These will include many of the roller coasters and some flat rides. So let's get straight to number 10. Okay then, my number 10 is Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave is perfect for the summer when you're very hot and need to cool down. Did you know? Tidal Wave is the equivalent of getting, I believe, two and a half bathtubs full of water thrown over you. I like how it's heavily themed around that a Tidal Wave has hit the Amity area. This ride fits perfectly in Amity and it's a great, great way to cool off. Overall, this is a very good ride to go on if you're hot. Okay, my number 9 is Rush. Rush is a flat ride located in Lost City towards the front of the park. It is quite short but you experience a lot of thrills on this ride as this massive structure swings you up and down as you can see on the screen now. This is, the per this is perfect to go on if, if loads of coasters have got long queue times and you still want to do a thrill ride. Okay, my number 8 is Rumba Rapids. This is a rapids ride located near Nemesis Inferno. It is perfect ride to go on if you just want to take a break from all those thrill attractions. You do get a little bit wet though, but not a lot. Rumba Rapids is perfect for those people who don't want to go on thrill rides and just want a gentle ride. Number 7 for me is Flying Fish. I know many of you think that Flying Fish is a good coaster, but for me, it's the proper thrill roller coasters that I like. Flying Fish originally started off in 1984 as Space Station Zero and was located in the buildings in Amity, which now hosts the arcade and KFC. It then got moved outside to where Stealth now is. When Stealth's construction started, Flying Fish was removed from the park completely. After fans were begging Thorpe Park to reinstall it, two years later they reinstalled it back into Thorpe Park. This is where it still is today. Now we're getting on to the main coasters. i got to say before I start, this is a very, very tough choice to make as I do like all of these coasters that Thorpe has to offer. So at number 6 is Colossus. Colossus is a roller coaster located in Lost City. It was manufactured by by Intamin and was designed by John Wardley and Werner Stengel. Colossus was famous for having 10 loops. This is why they brand, they, their brand for this was the power of 10. It was famous because it used to hold the world record for the most inversions on a roller coaster, which got taken over in 2013 by the Smiler Art Alton Towers Resort. Colossus has a height of 30 metres and gets up to speed of 72 kilometres per hour. It was Thorpe's first major investment to the park, but now it is quite rough, unfortunately. My number 5 is Saw the Ride. Saw the Ride is a roller coaster located in Old Town, which is towards the back end of the park. Saw is a Gertzlauer Eurofighter, which is obviously manufactured by Gertzlauer. This ride is heavily based around the Saw film franchise. Designed by Merlin Studios and Gertzlauer, it opened to the public on the 13th of March 2009. Last year, it celebrated its 10th anniversary. Saw the ride is 30 metres tall and reaches speed reaches speeds of 89 kilometres an hour. My number 4 is Walking Dead The Ride. Walking Dead The Ride is the dockyard which is pretty much in the middle of the park. It originally started out as X No Way Out in 1996, which was themed around a nightclub. In 2018 they rethemed it to the Walking Dead The Ride. Walking Dead The Ride still uses the same la layout as X, which was manufactured by Vacoma. 
It is heavily themed around the TV series The Walking Dead. This is such a great ride if you want to experience horror and thrills. It has a height of 12 meters and reaches speeds of 27 miles per hour. So on to the top three now. My number three is Nemesis Inferno. Nemesis Inferno is located in the jungle area of the park. It came to the park in 2003 as the second major investment. This is also the sister ride to the roller coaster called Nemesis at Alton Towers. Personally, I prefer Nemesis at Alton Towers Resort. Manufactured by BNM, it features four inversions and was designed by John Wardley, who, was, who also designed Nemesis at Alton Towers. It has a height of 29 meters and reaches speeds of 80 kilometers per hour, or 50 miles per hour. My number two is Stealth. Now before I go into this, it was a very hard choice. Stealth is located in the area Amity Speedway, which is just beside Angerbird's Land. Came to the park in 2006 and was manufactured by Intamin. It opened just one year after Rita opened at Alton Towers. It cost Thorpe Park 12 million pounds. It goes from zero to 18 under two seconds. Guest reaches heights of 62 meters and the top speed, of course, is 80 miles per hour. So that now means we are at number one, which is Swarm. Swarm is located on Swarm Island on its own island from the actual park. It came to them in 2012 and is their newest coaster. It was manufactured by B&M and was the second B&M wing coaster to be made in the UK. And it's the only one located in the UK. It cost them 18 million pounds. You reach a height of 39 meters and top speed of 95 kilometers and it's probably one of the smoothest coasters I've ever ridden. So that brings us to the end of my top 10 rides at Thor Park. I will be releasing a top 10 rides at Alton Towers in the near future. So, thanks for watching. I've been Theme Park Harry. Goodbye.